Taxi. Come on, you miserable fuck. Oh, come on. Taxi, good morning, how are you? Can't get a cab. I wonder why. The London cab driver, what has he done to upset you? Um, I think they are perhaps now the most frustrating drivers on the planet. They give you the, the big one and the, the little one. Golden on your bike, son. <laughs> no way, mate. Golden, you want this cab? Fuck off. Fuck's sake. A couple of years ago, I upset these guys on telly. And ever since that night, they refused to pick me up. So I'm here to make amends. One's in trouble. He can't cook to save his life. I just hope he's in a good mood, because normally they are miserable fucks. I've always relied on my wife for 10 years. So that when I get in from work, I'm one of them. There'd be a nice dinner on the table. I've never been able to take that in, how to cook. I've always ate the dinner and not worried about where it came from or whatever. And if you can cook is a sandwich. Or a hot cross bun or something. You can cook like bacon and that, and sausages, but not like a proper big dinner. I split up with my wife, and then uh, I've got the two kids, and I'm forever getting them takeaways. Whenever I've got them, they're not eating healthy food. Cool, what a shit hole. How old are the kids? Uh, Alfie's nine, Olivia's nearly seven. Uh huh. So, boy and a girl. Yep. And you've never cooked for them? Never. You can't even do beans on toast. Well, a bit well, no, that, I can do beans on toast. I'm on about a nice lunch for them or yeah. something like that. Because whatever you do to those kids now is a reflection of you, isn't it? Exactly. Of course it is. And we've got hard work here ahead of us. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Every time you get into a cab, the meat is always on. Yes. Huh? No wonder you guys are so rich. We've got around a few quick summer. It's going to take a lot to get this likely lad out of the dark ages and comfortable in the kitchen. We'll come up with a dish that's got nine or ten uses. Start off with a shepherd's pie. Lovely. But the most important thing about that is the mince. I'm making a really nice savoury mince. Lovely. Because on the back of that, once mm. it's been used for a shepherd's pie, you can just evolve it. Spaghetti. Spaghetti, well, nice. Yeah. Yep. Then you've got, um, you know, a lasagna, curried mince with some seasoning. Do you have to turn on the stove? Um, I'll do, yeah, I'll have a go. This is what I make, see? Yeah, I'm no, really this, used this, to... This, 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 exactly, I am, Johnny. I am new yeah. to all of this. You're making me... To you're making me nervous. Turn the fucking stove on. I'll peel the onions. Yeah, you peel the carrots. Let the knife do the work. Look, just lift the knife up and just push the carrots down. OK, all nice. the way through. That's it. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Oh, nearly. Voila, voila. Look at this. So there's only chance I'm working with you in a restaurant. Um, yeah. So far, uh, no, <laughs> no. Um, the hot plate stands this high, so we'll be fucked straight away. We've never made a scene. We've got a little head coming over the hot plate. Right, the garlic. We'll chop it nice and fine. Nice slices. All in. Good man. Give it a good mix. All the way around. Right. Fresh thyme. Take a little bit like that, yeah? And just... A little Have I got to try this? Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a herb, but it is so, so nice. Mmm. Nice little spice to it, right yeah. at the end, like an adding... Like, yeah, but it's mm. nice and mellow. Right, now that's sweaty down, add some tomato puree, half a glass of red wine, and lamb mince. Shit. Without putting it on the floor, Johnny. Now you've got them on the fucking suede Gucci buckles. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. You've got mince on your gold bars, that's Johnny. That's what, mate. That's what. Add beef stock and Worcester sauce, then turn down the heat to simmer. Special time with the kids at the weekend. Yep. Yep, this can be frozen. And that's a way of sort of just getting organised. Yep. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you. Aren't they new tiles your dad's just put down? Yeah. So, are they legit? Can we stand on them without food <laughs> thing you get done for standing <laughs> on solid goods? You're still making me out of a right dodgy character. <laughs> I thought all cabbies were dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> back yeah. into the pan. And back onto the stove, Johnny, please. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah. And you know what, as well? Go on. I'm slowly feeling more confident. Ready? Yeah. Nice little mash. Thank you. Into there. Now, just pretend you're almost like icing a cake. Yeah. It's a nice bit of cheese on top. Mm. Now, pop it Fantastic. in the oven. Fantastic. Alfie, Olivia. Oh, thanks, Mum. See you later. Listen to you. Gordon's here. Hi, guys. Nick and Bob and Laurie. Jerry at the bottom. Yeah? Get them involved like that. They've got these memories of the girl. Yeah. So you what? They are looking absolutely fantastic. Tonight. And they get to eat properly. Brilliant. Mango. Mango. Mm. Who needs takeaways when well, you got that? Fantastic. Mmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm, yeah. Really? One crucial question. 
you want Dad to cook this again? Yes or yeah. no? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think Mummy would think? Gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. This is how a Sunday lunch should be. 100%. Yeah. But it's only yeah. you can make the effort. You're the only person who can do this, you know that? Well, they're at an age where they're going to remember everything. Thank you very much indeed. You've done it. He's never had to cook in his life before. Now he's got no choice because he's got to look after his two kids. And, you know, that Sunday lunch there has to be 10,000 times better than a fucking takeaway for your kids. Taxi! There you go. So next thing I want you to do is to get the saffron. What does this do? The saffron gives it an amazing colour and gives it a really nice flavour as well. Uh 